Hey RTC. Yeah, middle of the day really. Joshua. Ooh. Uh jeez, let's see we got frame drops and issues. Okay. What's going on here? Ah, crikey. Alright, I think something's gone wrong here. Just give me a tick. Hmm. That was weird. I don't know what happened there. Uh, I think because I added an additional camera, it might have gotten a little upset. So, hey Jacob, Greg, Tosiki. Uh, I need some more light in here. Turn on that. Uh, that's a bit better. For me at least. Alright, uh, what we have is a 5S. Let's come in. I've worked on this one before. And looks like the batteries decided to go a bit uh, cactus on it. So I wonder if one of my cameras is running at 60 frames per second. Because this main camera has a feeling it's running at 60. No, it's running at 30. Oh well. Anyway. And also the person can't get any communication on the data port. So I'm going to have to see what's going on. I think I worked on this back in March, so no idea what's happened to it in the meantime. Where's my spudger? Right. I missed out on a good stream yesterday. Um, I had a... What is going on here? Doesn't want to had a HP 20 all-in-one. Um, you plug it in and it immediately shut down the uh, power brick and everything because it's one of those all-in-ones that has an external power brick which I prefer and anyway it turned out to be my favorite 0805 10 microfarad 25 volt capacitor at fault again and it would have been a short stream because it only took me about 10 minutes to find it I had a suspicion it was something like that that was a bit sticky that one this one has been through this shop quite a few times yeah that battery's puffed up hmm that's not good and yeah that was back in March so this could be a case of uh, bad battery or it could be TriStar issues or Tigris or I don't know but it's entirely possible it was just a bad batch of batteries can't trust them I sort of live by the idea that about half of whatever batteries I put in are going to come back at some point within the next six months and in this case this one was six months And it's got water damage. Alright. Well, we've got to get that battery out. <clears throat> well, yeah, by the way, it's the, uh, that's the microscope camera up the top there. I haven't really got a use for it yet. And I do need my hot air gun. Where is my hot air gun? I'll find it. It's around here somewhere. Come on, hot air gun, where are you? Trouble is, I've got too many. Ah, oh, there it is. Ah. Too many power tools that look too similar 
And I don't have anywhere to plug this in. Oh, well, plug it in here. <sighs> Just checking. This one has the battery stuck down with a few strips of double-sided tape because at the time I did this there weren't really any good supplies that I could get the um, pull strips from that should about do it gonna blow up and this is a 2016 battery so yeah, it's definitely no good oh dear. Tora Flex, I don't want to change a retina. Oh lordy. Yeah, that one's uh, that one's all yours, Tim. Yep. You can have that one. Not a great fan of those sort of things. I think tearing flexes is a on that sort of stuff is definitely a big fear of mine. Not because I don't think I can't fix it, but it's just it's such a pain. More delays, all that sort of stuff. Ah, oh, god, this stuff's taking forever to get out. Alright. It's got rust building up. Well, I'll get a temporary battery and get a lightning cable and see if I can't get this to connect just see what's going on see if the charge port it looks clean but you never know ah down there. crotch cam no. uh, I mean it's not Great, but it's also not. Is that interesting? You can't actually see. It's overblown the highlights on this. Let's turn down the. Turn down for that. Yeah. Bit of junk, but not catastrophic. Okay, go get your ba go get a battery. And while I'm in this box, I should grab a replacement dock, just in case. And naturally, naturally I don't have any spare docks. That's just typical. Yeah, yeah, I don't think you'd be sending it to me. No, thank you. You can have that one. Ooh, nice pretty rust there. Hmm. Two Acer laptops, one battery is shot, and now you see them looks. Okay, the other he dropped on the wood floor. Oh. Yeah, that sounds like that's a pair of trash can buddies to me. Mm. 
Let's have a look under the dock here, just as a Yeah, you look okay. I think this person upgraded to iOS 11 as well, so that's just going to be a good bonus for us. Yeah, not worthwhile fixing. Agreed. I mean, when you're first starting out and you're just trying to make a few bucks and whatnot, then sure, yeah, I mean, fix those sort of things, but quickly gets to the point where you just got to run away from those jobs. Oh, come on. Get in. And we're in. Okay, where's my lightning cable? Once again, no matter how many lightning cables I have, I always do not have one where I need one. In the other room again. I don't know why I end up with both of them all in one room, but not the one I want. No post screen on the drop one, so it could be display or motherboard. Ooh, yeah. I suppose if you plug in. <coughs> well, that lightning port went in perfectly clean. I suppose if you plug in um, an external screen, it might show up, I guess. Okay. Uh, it looks like that's looks like that's running. Let's wait for it to boot up, and then I'll just do a backup. Good. Let's see if we've got the passcode. I can feel it's getting hot, actually. Trust. No touch ID, but we knew that. What's this new thing with um, you having to put the passcode in twice for trusting? That's really annoying. It's definitely getting hot on the back, so let's get the back up underway. Trust, yeah, she's getting real hot. And it's repeatedly come on.
And looks like we have to do some coding. The last thing I wanted to do. Uh, the phone, it has got water damage, but um, I don't think that's really the main problem. Ah, oh, gee. This is why I should get all my build system and everything done on this laptop before I come back here again. It's definitely getting quite warm. Oh, good God. This is one area where I do prefer using FreeBSD because it tends to pull the development libraries in with it when you start making the packages. Unfortunately, because iOS 11 only just came out, the um, I have to use the development build of this um, iPhone backup tool because it's not yet. What? No. Oh my god. Why don't you guys just properly install everything? It may be that this short in it caused the battery to uh, have a hard time. Come on, build the stuff. Huzzah! No error. Good god, really. Cannot. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, maybe it's not okay. Oh, I can just run it that way anyway.
Great. Oh, and I need the home button. Bloody brilliant. <sighs> yeah, the recompiling is so that the backup tools will uh, handle iOS 11. But I ran in it into it the other day when I was trying to back up another phone the same thing happened and it just kept running me around in circles and it turned out there was a patch but it's not in the mainstream it's not in the mainstream download yet for the Ubuntu get in there, ah oh, man I love trying to get that home button flex back in so I need an extra small pinky finger Get in. Uh huh. Gotcha. <sighs> oh, while waiting for that to boot up, I'll show you the 6S Plus I got the other day. And, uh, nice bit of a bend job on that. I'm sure it might show up better on the other camera. Yeah, sort of just ever so slightly, and that's after I've flattened it out. It's as far as I can get it to go without it. It just kept bouncing back. Just waiting for this to boot. Yeah, unfortunately, with that particular one, um, this is its circuit board. Is that going to show up? Yeah, no. It has a shorted out Wi Fi chip, or the Wi Fi chip's getting really hot. So I really can't do anything about that. Alright, let's see if we have any better luck this time. Yeah, still locked down. I'm going to go plug it into the other workstation and see what happens. Actually, I forget the pin code. One thing's for sure, that phone's going to probably be a write-off. Okay. Let's have a look. Shoot this back up a bit. Oh, there we go. Hey, handy parts. Today, powered up Win 10 box to do a 15, do a 15 task, simple task. I don't know. Still trying to fix Windows 10 issue. Search service not being able to start up. Prop under properties under R and click. Oh, 
Et uh, one thing I really hate is when you've got a customer inbound and they're um, coming to pick up the equipment and you've forgotten to shut the machine down. So you go and shut the machine down and it says, I've got 20 updates to install. And you're like, no. And yeah, you're stuck with them. And you tell your customer to wait and wait and wait. Oh. Ah, this is good. At least I'll be able to get their data off. I might message him and tell him that the phone's bung. Oh, I just realised I can do that on the computer. Ah. <laughs> At least I think I can do it on the computer. I think we should put the phone to rest. This person, like I said, they've done a lot of work through me before, so I'll probably, um, I probably won't really charge them anything for this. Instead, hey, that's the wrong window. What the heck from there? That's more like it. Um, probably at best what I'll end up with is retaining their phone. Oh, good day, Motor Mac. Uh, so far as the day is going, yeah, it's a bit of a mixed bag. Oh man, no, just disabling a bunch of Windows trash here on someone else's machine that I am setting up because their hard drive crashed. Uh, tell Cortina to go and take a hike. All right. I think what I'll do is I will pop that logic board out though and have a look and see where it's getting hot, just for the fun of it. I don't know whether it's going to be because of corrosion damage or because of physical damage. I mean, you've seen the screen. Oh, well, you can't see it. The screen's beaten up. How close are we? 95. What this is doing is it's just copying the files from the iPhone using the iPhone uh, data transfer service that's built in. And it leaves a, uh, it's just a great big directory full of UID or GUID named files and a manifest. And in that, that should theoretically be a iTunes backup that you can then utilize to reload to a new iPhone if you want. Come on, hey, back up successful. That's what I'd like to see. Yeah, see, so, I mean, this is all you typically see when you look at these backups. And, like, if you look in one of the folders, um, and that's pretty much all you get 
but they are actually files. They they're not encrypted. They're not well. This one isn't. They're not anything special. If you let's see, where am I? Okay. If you check what their file types are, you can see you know it's like image and yeah, QuickTime movie things like that. It's just the file names are all different. Okay. Okay, so we're out of that. Yeah, that's it. P list stuff. Now, now I gotta get that phone before it turns into a flaming wreck. the beaten up iPhone 6s plus I gotta say one thing I oops nearly killed it more one thing I was happy about the 6s plus is that the TriStar is an absolute breeze to get to I mean that's it right there so dead easy to get to that one unlike the smaller version the 6s where it's got the little uh, bit of shield covering over the top anyway uh, I don't really get any 6s pluses in for data uh tristar most of the time they're completely dead like that one before i can even get to see them uh, battery out you're coming out come on out you come there you go uh, hey liam yeah thank you let's see which one i'll push that down well, uh, we have to go back over that again. All right, here we go. I was going to say, try and start. Yep, that's it there. And oh wow, that screen is well out of proportion. What's going on there? That should be pretty much middle there. Out of light, out of focus. There we go. Hey Chris, good to see you. So yeah, so that's a much easier TriStar to get out, but yeah, you know, I don't really get any of these ones to do a TriStar job on. They're usually poor bent bastards like this thing. Look at that. It's it's quite a bend on it. Yeah, uh, but yeah, the with the Wi-Fi chip dead on that or heating up, Chris. Maybe you'll know straight off the top of your head. When you put alcohol on it, it heats up round about right there, real quick. Draws two amps, two and a half amps. It boots, but it doesn't like it. Anyway, let's get this five uh, S. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. I want to do an audio test. Uh, you probably can you see this? No. Dun, dun, dun. no. All right. Let's turn this uh, laptop around. Maybe you can then. Make sure that doesn't get. Okay. This is the fume extractor. Let's see how loud it is and whether you guys can hear me when it's running. Alright. Ah, that's nice and cool. Alright, so you did eight touch ICs today. Um, oh, an iPhone 8. Now the question is, how badly is this audio being messed up by the fume extractor? Um, I'm talking a little bit louder than normal to try and compensate against this, but I'm not sure how well. Yeah, that's at its maximum. That's at its minimum. Did a bad FPC repair. Plugged in the screen with the battery. Pl oh, nice. 
Yeah, the extractor is pretty loud. I think a lot of the noise is coming out on this top section. So I'm probably going to sort of surround it in noise deadening foam or something like that. I'll get around to it. I'll leave that off for now. Well, as long as you can hear me, just think of it as uh, therapeutic white noise. Right, let's see, we get that. Yeah, actually, that's the only reason why I've got it tilted is because it's easy for me to work on the laptop. Great, my desk has become messy already. And the microscope's in the way. Well, that's good enough. Are you able to turn down the gain on your mic? Liam, are you referring to as a general rule or just when the, uh, just when the extractor's going? Man, I've got to get the air conditioning fixed up in this room. It's already cooking up pretty bad. I feel myself picking up that sweat. That's why I'm not wearing gloves at the moment. I want to be. But there's just nowhere they would last on me for more than a couple of minutes. told me I was on the... that's better. Funny if this one's also the Wi Fi chip. Yeah, let's have a look at it. Switch scenes. Oh, yeah. Well, we can see where all the corrosion. Uh, the liquid's gone in. Let's jump here, 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 there. Some up here as well. Well, I guess we'll drop that back shield off. tweezers.
Uh, with regards to the gain and reducing the pickup of the air filter, probably not really. It's probably more of a function of the physical makeup of the microphone itself in terms of its pickup area and whatnot. Uh, I mean, I'm definitely not the expert on that. Um, consult with Lewis Rossman <laughs> would be my point of reference. Okay. That's what I want. I always have to decide a few times over which way I'm going to do these Chris Long drops. Oops. And every time I almost forget, got to get these plastic strips off. More than anything, because they smell bad when you melt them. Should be one more up here. Yep. All right, let's go with this. Mm-hmm, let's change. I really do need a quick switcher or something. But yeah, with the noise of the filter, I think it's just going to be better off for me to quieten the filter. I mean, I find it a little bit loud myself even after maybe 15 20 minutes i'm still haven't uh how do you say i still haven't gotten used to it so i definitely need some sound dampening Yeah, just starting to feel it tick. Tick, tick, tick. Ah, flip my head when it does this. supposed to drop off all nicely. It's okay. Hey Crajo. Reducing the game make the entire signal quiet but won't change the relative balance now. That's it. Now I think with Lewis he's um particular microphone, the DPA that he's got, is the key to a lot of it. He also has active noise reduction going on, as far as I know, which probably sucks a lot more CPU than what I've got available right now. All right, let's have a look. And the board's still hot. Try to shush that. Hot air up. I know, I'll change the PMIC. That'll fix it. What have I got on the. I should check down here first. So I wonder if we got on the compass. Yeah, there's corrosion there. Let's have a look at that. 
Yeah, yeah, look at that sucker. How... You think that might cause it? <laughs> ah, cool, Mac. I really don't ever bother taking that nozzle off. It's... I'll just sort of persist with it, it's fine. But yeah, I'd say this is our big problem. Looks like a, it's blown its guts out a bit there too. I wonder what those balls are. I wonder as in which function, what network those pins are on. Anyway, so yeah, I'd say that's what's causing our problem. At least in preliminary. Can you guys even see that? What's going on here? That's dead in the middle. Why is it not showing? Oh, yeah, it is. Now, I'm going to do some fine tuning with this camera. There we go. Now you can see it. There's a pretty good cluster of crap. Uh, I guess the question is, should I even bother taking that off? Uh, I suppose I should wait for the customer. Let's see if they've responded to me yet. These balls have exploded everywhere, yes. <laughs> I won't be able to send those ones to Jessa. They're no good anymore. Okay, thanks. Okay. Um, data has been recovered. I can move the shorted part. It might work. Okay. I just realized it's going to make the camera jumpy. That's okay. Hopefully they'll respond pretty quickly so I can just get straight to this. Oh, just hang That was late lunch served, so I'm sorry, but at least we know what's causing the heat most likely. I mean, that's pretty classic uh, water problem on these iPhones. So, uh, what stream? I'm using, I think, 4,000. Yeah, sort of like 4 to 4.5 four megabit. I'm chewing 33% CPU. And that's just finally shut itself down, so it's good. Okay. All right, I've got to roll. Um, I'll catch up with you guys later, but that, that'll be the cause of it. At least we've got the data off, so I'm happy. And the person is basically going to just bid in this phone once it's done. Yeah. So uh, in the meantime, you guys have fun. I'll catch up with you later.